that shit girl with me ma shout out my boy true but i'm rap mad at all day every day i Tell me what he said. Oh, basically he was saying that he had saw you at a concert and y'all had a conversation about when you was on Big Face Gary interview. And I think he said that you said, fuck, fuck Lord Jamal. And then he said he had saw you and y'all had a conversation. So I don't know what happened, Keith. I'm just going by what he said in all the dialogue. So I'm gonna ask you, is it true that y'all had a conversation or it did happen? Well. I did. I saw a clip of Lord Jamal saying something about Keith Murray. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And to me, is like is the timeline is off. You know what I'm saying? Because what he's saying is happened a while ago. Okay. Not in the current here and now. Oh, okay. You feel me? Yeah. I've been through situations that led me up to this point. But I did see Lord Jamal at a show at A&T College. Okay. Down south. Oh, okay. And I was performing. I seen him. I jumped in the crowd. Bang. Rocking. He had one dude with him and another dude behind him. And he walked up towards me and I was mm -hmm. rapping and I tapped his hat mm -hmm. and I kept rocking. And then I seen him post something and say, yeah, Murray always been a great performer. But then recently I seen him on the art, on the art of dialect uh -huh. saying that Keith Murray bugged out, Keith Murray got a drug habit. Now, first and foremost, he don't know my day-to-day -day life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So he's speaking in the past tense and bringing something up now from a year ago. Things have changed with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I went to a rehab. I went to an yeah. outpatient program. Mm -hmm. And I moved out of the environment yeah. in which I developed that habit. You feel me? Yeah. A yeah. drug is a drug is a drug is a drug. Of course, of course. But at the same time, he's just jumping up a year later after I did all my programs and all of that mm -hmm. and just say, oh, Keith Murray has a problem. Yeah. Like he know me day to day. Yeah. He don't know me day to day. Yeah. And when I saw him, he posted online, oh, Keith Murray always been a dope artist that performed. Mm -hmm. So he's just jumping in way late after all my program. I didn't go online and put, you know, I completed a program. I went to rehab because I don't do that because, you know, I may sip or smoke or something like that. So I'm not advocating fully. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing about that also is that my name is Keith Murray. My rap name is Keith Murray. Yeah. And when people, like two years ago, they feel me walking from the store, I tried a drug that I liked that I couldn't handle. It got the best of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No good. I would never take that to professionalism. They taken, and then something happened like uh, nine, ten months ago, somebody filmed something. Mm -hmm. They put it online. They had yeah. some footage that they, they, I don't know when they had it, but they put it online. You know what I'm saying? Old yeah. footage that, and then they would be like, oh yeah, that's Murray. So yeah. the clickbait and the way that they botch things up with AI, they make yeah. it seem like it's here and now. Yeah. This is the here and now. Talk to me here and now. Fair. The only discrepancy I have with Lord Jamal is the fact that I love Lord Jamal. Fair. But he's jumping in and talking about people down trots or what he's not feeling about people. He's not even doing it with Keith Murray. Mm -hmm. I thought it was something with me and him. Mm -hmm. He's doing it with everybody. Yeah. And his facts are not right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can go down the list of a lot of things that he say. He's like a thorn 
in a person's side that they gotta pluck out. He just wanna be the bad guy of the situation. First of all, he's an artist. I don't know if he's considered himself a rapper or an MC. You feel me? Yeah. And I thought about this scenario when I was gonna come to the sh to the show. I had wild scenarios to throw out and go at them, but I'ma just ask Lord Jamal, Lord Jamal, Lordy, please leave Keith Murray alone because. Psychologically, I'm not ready for the outcome of what those people are gonna do mm -hmm. to me and him right. from jumping in, talking, and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got kids, I don't know if he got kids, I don't know his kids, but yeah. you know, too. And this is life. That was some, I was minding my business, a person filmed me two years ago, and then like a year ago, Put somebody else called me my name from the back and called me. It wasn't like I was in, in front of the camera going ham, going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They take personal downtime and put it with real life and professionalism. Mm -hmm. Don't mix up the two, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Keith Murray is a very professional individual. When it's time for me to perform my duties and my professionalism, I do that on stage. And I look at his views. I can talk about how his views are not up and he's just being the, you know, the antagonist of the whole situation and talk bad about him. I talked to Red Man. Red Man was like, leave it alone. And one of my brothers, LBM, just came home for 13 years mm -hmm. in jail. Mm -hmm. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Right. People want to try to try to make you look bad, put blemishes on your career, on your personal life. Let's talk about the accolades. Lord Jamal mm -hmm. could not fuck with Keith Murray on that microphone. That's a fact. That's a fact. Battling, record-wise, or whatever. I can be mean and talk about how Grand Pooba don't mess with him, or uh, Sadat X called me was like, yo, Whatever y'all going through with you and him, y'all going through, but I want you on this record. I'm like, what is this? This a setup or something? You know what I'm saying? It's a, like a real thin line. And it's very serious when it comes to the streets and personal and artistry. Don't intertwine them and try to make me seem like I'm not that person who I am when I'm on that stage. Because Keith Murray delivers at the end of the day. I'm not going to disrespect Lord Jamal. I could have laughed and joke and all of that. And the internet has created something about Keith Murray like people don't know. Like I got a funny side to me. I got a serious side. I can laugh and joke. I'm a character. People really don't know my personal personality. So I'm all over the place. I'm a Gemini, and I read somewhere people who have 28 personalities, and they could be a character. I'm a familiar, unfamiliar face in film and movies. You know what I'm saying? People really, you can't read Keith Murray. So don't try to just be like, oh. And I saw, uh, uh, a post had 500,000 views here and now, clickbait. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked at the video, I'm like, I'm waiting for something to happen. Nothing happened, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I ain't gonna run on and on and on. I'm gonna let you ask, ask yeah. questions, but I just had to get that out because no, I was like, two and three days with this last night, I'm yeah. thinking about how I'm gonna come address the situation. Yeah. Lord Jamal don't know what he's talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you don't play with a person's addiction. Addiction is real. A drug is a drug is a drug is a drug. Mm -hmm. And where I'm from, mm -hmm. that ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Walking down the street being uh, inebriated or stuck for the moment, you know what I'm saying? Your next move is your best move, mm -hmm. but I ain't gonna go there. And Rod Digger is a great sister of mine. And 
I saw Lord Jamal. I was at the show, like I said. I was performing, rocking, boom, at a t College over there in Greensboro, rocking. I seen him coming, coming with one chunky dude, husky dude, and then another dude. I didn't really see his description. I jumped off the stage, boom, rocking. And then I tapped his hat. And then he put online, oh, Murray always been a dope performer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I don't know he's a journalist or journalistic skills he got, but that ain't it, man. That ain't it. And what's so sad about it is the fact that I love Brand New Being. You know what I'm saying? And people have their downfalls and all of that, but that ain't... Personal ain't the stage or the show. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So get it right. Differentiate the two. And the promoters, don't be fooled by what you see on clickbait and all of that. Keith Murray delivers. Don't count me out. I'm on that stage to perform for the fans, do my job, get in and get out. I do not play games. Mm -hmm. Death Squad. L-O-D. Hey, yo, Keith, man, I want to say, you know, watching your Art of Dialogue interview, another thing I want to say is, like, when it came to, like, when you talked about the females, <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, that was, like, a lot of people was, like, yo, he he talking. But I'm, 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 I look at it like this. When I look at an interview, if somebody's doing an interview, he's talking his life. You can't get offended by somebody talking about his escapades with certain women. And a lot of times, a lot of women going to lie, you know. And then when I was looking at, you know, the Foxies and the Shaunas trying to deny it, you know, people going to deny it to keep their image up. But if it's your life and your personal experience, nobody can shoot you down for speaking your truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, my truth is my truth. Fact. And Murray don't lie. Mm -hmm. So if I tell a story... Is is the truth? Mm -hmm. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. A lot of uh, interviewers ask me that question <clears throat> about that, and, and what went on went on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you digging up some old can of worms. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you want me to go into it because if yeah. you look at other interviews, yeah. I've talked about it already. Yeah, uh -huh. fact, fact, fact. You definitely did. You definitely but, did. <clears throat> I um, I don't lie. No, no, no. no I, I ain't seen an interview yet. You lied in every interview you did. You speaking your life and your truth, so people can't get offended by that. And that's why I think a lot of times. People need to listen when they listen to an interview and not take their opinion, their personal opinions when they don't know the person. They don't know what the person been through or what they doing. That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas be lying a lot. Yeah. My grandmother be like, I don't know why he lies so much. <laughs> he rather lie than tell the truth. <laughs>